Hello, my friends, and welcome to the first Mini Train Resource Series, where we spotlight resources or aids that may prove beneficial in your work or personal life. Today's Mini Train will focus on touch typing, which is the ability to type fluidly without looking down at the keyboard to find the letters. Now, I am well aware that if you opened your email and you saw the link to this video and then clicked on it to come to YouTube to watch the video, there's a good chance you already know how to touch type. But maybe you don't. Or maybe you have a friend or family member or coworker who doesn't know how, and hopefully I can provide some good reasons and resources if you or they are open to learning. Even kids as young as six or seven can start to learn given an appropriately sized keyboard. Now you might be thinking that typing is a dying skill. Yeah, it is certainly true that talking to our machines is becoming more and more common. Hey Siri, where's my phone? But even so, using the keyboard is still the most efficient and private way to enter information into your computer. Keyboarding is critical, possibly the most important computer skill you can master. And this is truer today than it has ever been. Just about every job you can do now requires some sort of computer data input, even if it's just to track your time or inventory. We can't escape it. The machines are everywhere. So it's important we establish dominance. First off, there are major benefits to taking the time to learn to do this. The main one is just relaxing your focus. I remember what it was like learning to drive a stick shift when I was young. Coordinating shifting into the right gear while trying to find the exact balance between gas and clutch required focus and practice, and I spent a lot of time stalling out and grinding gears. And when you put that on top of everything else a new driver is learning, like keeping your eyes on the road, being aware of other motorists, checking your mirrors, speed limit, turn signals, windshield wipers, ah, oh, well, you don't have much attention or brain left for anything else, like conversation or singing along to the radio. But after a while, it got easier. I didn't have to work so hard to get those pedals balanced or remember the pattern of the gears. It became automatic, sometimes subconscious, and I didn't have to think about it anymore. Touch typing is the same. When you hunt and peck, you're determining the words you want to type, thinking about how they're spelled, identifying the next letter, looking down at the keyboard, finding the individual key, and then striking the key for every single letter. Hunt and peck typing is the equivalent of perpetually learning to drive a manual transmission. You never really move into a subconscious mode. Your focus is always going to be split between looking at the monitor and looking at your keyboard back and forth. It's exhausting and nobody wants to do it for long, but there's a better way. With touch typing, after some practice, you don't have to think about where the keys are or where your fingers are going, which means you can keep your focus on what you're typing rather than how. Per my last email. In sciency terms, it means you are freeing up cognitive energy. You aren't splitting your focus anymore, which makes your working memory more efficient, and it becomes easier to process your ideas and get them into the computer. It also speeds you up considerably. The faster you type, the more time you save. Increasing your speed and accuracy will increase your efficiency. The average typing speed for someone who hunts and pecks is around 27 words per minute. The average touch typist easily reaches around twice that at 40 to 50 words per minute. Doubling your typing speed means it can take you half the amount of time to do the same work. Uh, depending on your finger dexterity, you may be able to even triple or quadruple how quickly you type. Plus, you'll make fewer errors when all 10 fingers get involved. The good news is, touch typing is not that difficult to learn. 
It's not advanced calculus. It's just repetition and practice. You have to build the muscle memory. Now, of course, when you first start touch typing, your typing speed will likely slow down a bit. Give it time. Remember, it's better to practice a little often. 15 to 20 minutes a day is going to do far more for you than trying to practice for an entire hour every week. Most people are going to find they are successfully touch typing, slowly, but without looking at the keyboard, after about 10 to 15 hours of practice. Within about three months of regular practice, you'll likely be at that 40 to 50 words per minute average range. Now, maybe you're thinking, three months? Uh-uh, I'm not going to spend three months to learn how to type. But here's an important point that's true anytime you're looking at putting in the work to make a change. Those three months are going to pass regardless. If it takes you 20 minutes to enter a work order or send an email right now, in three months, it could take you 10. I have so much free time now. <laughs> right. Bottom line, it is worth it to you to do this. In our next mini train, we'll look at some specific online free resources that you can access to learn how to touch type. Or if you already know how, but you want to increase your speed or accuracy, you can work on that too. We'll see you then.